Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Kunai, the Robo Ninja Metroidvania. Last time we made our way through the game, explored a little bit, got some Kunai, as, uh, I mean it is the name of the game, makes sense that we would get that. And, hello Robo friend with the gun. Hey, you made it! The Resistance has a camp out here, deep in the woods, to explain everything. Where is it, you ask? See this as a test of your, a test of your tracking skills. We gotta know if you're worthy. Could you guys give me a map? Because, uh, still yet to have a map. And, uh, boy would it be useful. But, uh, whatever. I'll explore it. Excuse me, bush robot. What in the hell? I wasn't expecting that. And that's the stuff I can't actually kunai. Keep that in mind. So there will sometimes be robots hiding in this grass now. I wonder if there's a way to tell. Or if... I just have to guess, basically. I'm just gonna slash at every single one of those that I see now. Probably the best way to handle it. Wow, climbing is really weird, because you just kind of slide down. It's it's like you get stuck in goo or molasses when you're actually climbing uh, vines. Very awkward way to do vine climbing. Uh... This stuff was, like, moving, so I wanted to look into it, I guess, but it didn't seem like there was anything really going on. Got some more money, though. I think they were just called coins. I expected, uh, a different name, but it's just coins. Oh, hello, secret. Wow, I just kind of stumbled into that one. Free money, though. Wow, so that was just straight up an invisible wall. So I gotta keep in mind, there are the ones where you can just walk straight through the wall. I hate that variety. It means I have to check every single wall, no matter what. Because, I mean, there could be anything hidden over there. Doesn't seem like we'll be finding, uh, items hiding in places like that, though. It seems like it'll mostly just be cold, hard cash. Are you an enemy? No. Anything hidden up here, I wonder? No. No, nope, doesn't seem like it. Alright, just making sure. Oh, that robot looks so sad. I hate that that robot looks so sad. Okay, what's up here? Wow, this is... Man, I really, really wish I had a map. Because I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like, okay. I, I can't keep up with all of this in my head. It'll be pretty difficult to do so. Uh, okay, we're just gonna have to vine across this, or just land on the ground and kill myself. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Alright, I'm thinking we want to go up a little bit. Because... It seems like that that's possibly progress, so... Let's see what was up. No. Stop that. Thank you for the chest, though. With a pittance of money inside of it. Uh, ooh, that killed me, actually. Alright, I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention to my health there. Do we lose anything for dying? No, we just go back. That's the only penalty. Okay, that's... Not a bad penalty at all, honestly. Yeah, you wanna go, robot? How did I get up there last time? Oh wait, did I climb the vines? The vines aren't here now. Oh well. Oh well. Or never mind, I just got up this way. This was the last room and I didn't actually remember how I got up there. Climb. Man, this is uh... This is making me want to play Sekiro again. Or Katana Zero, I suppose. They both have that same kind of feel, where the combat is, uh, very counter-focused and such. Uh, I don't want to fight you. Get out of here. Oh, there we go. Was there something over here? I feel like I should just have a double jump. Like, the game feels made for a double jump, almost. But no, I've just got these kunai. Alright, yeah, I think this room, yeah. Up here was the other area I could go to. 
Oh yeah, can't I... Can't I access that store from anywhere it said? Or does it have to be somewhere with the Wi-Fi? Yeah. So it's only save rooms, I guess, that we can actually access the store. That's a new enemy. Hi. I bounced off of you. Hope you don't mind that. Oops. I wanted the money, but <laughs> I didn't properly uh, respect the fact that I was going to have to fall to the prior screen to get that money. Yeah, I really need, like, the money magnet upgrade that I'm sure is in this game. Yeah, even, even being above them, I didn't catch the cash. Hmm. Well, was there... Is there anything else hiding down here? That was a far drop. Okay, just doesn't, doesn't seem like it. Seems like that's just a different way you could go. So now let's just head up here. Yeah, the movement feels... I, I'm probably going to talk about how great the movement feels a lot. But boy, it constantly surprises me just how fluid it is. Because I've played some games that... I don't know, have, have, like, less of a budget? Like, probably way less of a budget than this game? And feel half as fantastic as this does. If that, even. Okay, you're the one summoning those damn things. Uh... Get out of here, please. Thank you. Kind of intimidated by that, uh, enemy. Let's see. Now, climb. There we go. Yeah, vines feel weird, I will say. Because your character doesn't actually, like, climb them how you'd expect them to climb. They just kind of... I don't know. Like I said, it's like you're stuck in jello or molasses or something. The resistance camp? I'm afraid you're looking in the wrong place. Might want to try heading west. Okay. Well, we can't get up there. Ah, uh, it feels so good when you get a full... Uh like, swoop like that. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. Speedrunners. Because Speedrunners has a, um, similar thing to that. Wait, excuse me? So the Wi-Fi connection's going up. That means we're near a save room, I guess? It looked like it was going up up here, though. Oh, wait, or is it down here? Maybe? So I didn't notice this little room down here that I could fall into. Oh no, not another blue door. I don't like that. Let's see if I can do the cool thing that you do in speedrunners where like, if you hook just right, you kind of fly up into a crevice like that. It sort of worked. Not as well as it does in speedrunners, but it kind of worked. Hello. Morning. Who sent you here? Negative. This isn't a resistant camp. Came the wrong way. Try using the southern route through the forest. Huh. Okay, well, at least it's a healy spot. So I've got that going for me. Saved and recharged. Is there a router in here? Because my connection's pretty good. No. I mean, I guess that's what that Wi-Fi signal thing is. Or maybe that's trying to tell me I'm close to one, or far away from one, or what have you. Maybe it's like a sort of warning. I don't know. Okay, there... When we went down, I don't really think there was anything over that way. Let's, let's just refresh ourselves really quick. Oh wait, no, it did have a path. Oh yeah, it had the door, that's right. Can't believe I forgot that that quickly. But there's a lot to keep track of on this map right now. Yeah, the, the lack of a map is definitely the only issue I have with this game so far. Which, I mean, it has it in the game, I just might not have found it yet. Which I suppose is more my fault than anything. Down we go. Oh no, not this jerk again. I mean, you drop a lot of money from what I remember, so at least you got that going for you. Kind of annoying to fight, though. Which makes you a pretty annoying enemy. Uh, please don't do that. Don't hit me. 
I don't like these enemies because their bits always fly off in directions I can't actually get them from. Flashy, slashy. There was like an old Flash game I played on, I think, Congregate or something back in the day that had a character that said that, so... I don't- it's so ingrained in my memory at this point that I find myself saying it a lot. Oh, well, you're like a bird. Interesting. I don't know why I pressed that. Up we go. You coming in for me? Oh, jeez. I didn't see you there, sir. I was all focused on the bird, and then you just come out. Huh. Damn it. I keep I keep wanting to refer to a map, but there's just not. No map for me. That'll be the first upgrade I get if it's something that you have to buy. Okay, I just I just want to get up there and murder that person. Or a robot, thank you. There we go. And down, I guess? They did say the southern route was the one we needed to take. I guess... have I been here? I don't recall seeing this many of these types of enemies or these bees, so I might not have been here before. Not a lot of places for me to use my kunai, though. Oh, this is just... Yeah, this is just this little area. Guess I'm gonna have to take some hits if I want to get this. Uh, I might actually die. Uh, in fact, I think I am going to die. This was a mistake. Dead. I mean, hey, at least I got the money, though, right? And we're just gonna teleport back to that one we just... we just got, so it's... really not that big of a penalty. I think I want to take my hat off, though. I don't really like the garbage man hat. I would rather just have my normal face. Alrighty. Continue onwards. And... So, down. And then to the left, I think is where... Oh wait, shit. Wait, I thought I rested at a... Never mind. <laughs> Jeez, I, I thought I had found another resting spot, but no, we have to go this way. That was where that blue door is once again. My ability to make a mental map is not great, evidently. I guess I've just been spoiled by games having, like, a map already. Just kind of want to avoid the enemies, he says, as he gets murdered by enemies. Okay, I just gotta kill a couple more weak ones. Oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't realize he was actually coming at me from that far away. I thought he was attacking something else? Alright, well, I'll meet you back over there. I'm not gonna make you watch this again. Alright, here we are, back over here again. I'm not sure how that enemy aggroed on me from so far away. Also totally forgot that enemy existed. Alright, so where to from here? Oh jeez. It's definitely not up, I can tell you that much. Hmm. Let's see, I went left last time, didn't I? No, yeah, I, fl I fell down here and then I went left. And that's when I ran into that, um, spike pit that I got full. It wasn't a spike pit, but it was an area with spikes that I trapped myself in. Oh, okay. Uh, oh no. Wow. Alrighty. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty brutal. I'll, uh, see you back there. Just a minute. Well, on the bright side, with, uh, with me dying as much as I'm dying, I'm getting a lot of these coins. So, when we actually find another router, boy, I'll be set. So, don't fall. What? How am I supposed to... Okay, I'm just gonna assume I can't do that right now. Can we get another heal soon? That would be nice. Probably gonna die. Luckily there's some easy enemies for me to defeat here to get some health back. What's up this way? This is where I fell down before, isn't it? Yeah. 
Let's try going to the right. This is that zone I was in. But at least there's some easy enemies for me to kill so I can restore some of my HP. I really hope I didn't just miss the map chip somewhere. Oh cool, a treasure chest I didn't get last time. It might have even been something in the shop and I just didn't see it, but it's definitely the first thing I'm getting. I don't know where this is in relation. I feel like I vaguely recognize this area. Yeah, I think... Yeah, this should be... Yeah, and a chest I've already opened. Okay. Well, one of the characters told me to go west and one of the characters told me to go south. So... Have we tried going this way yet? Okay, this looks new. Finally. Yeah, I, I definitely haven't climbed this many vines before. That in fact looks like a level transition? Door? Doesn't seem like I can actually go through it though. It seems like the best way to get down uh, those quickly is just to smack them. Oh, are those the blue doors? Are those open now? Well, hmm. I'm definitely not going to go back and uh, go to where I've seen every single blue door, because one, I don't remember where they're at, and two, I would really like a map before I tried to do anything like that, so... Let's just ignore it for now. See if we can get a better look at this. So, two... The vines. Oh, jeez. It's so slippery and weird, the vines. It's, like I said, I, I've, I've explained it before, but it's still just weird to actually control. Because when I jump onto them, like, my brain expects to stick to them like you would a ladder. But you just don't. Those enemies kind of remind me of, uh, the Colossus enemies in a Risk of Rain. Damn it. I thought I was facing the right uh, direction to hit that enemy, but... Evidently, no. Evidently, it just smacked me in the face for being a fool. Oh, okay. So, I made it back over here, but it looks like you actually have to hit the switch again? To, uh, open these? So when we die, I suppose it doesn't save our progress. I was kind of assuming it did, because I thought I had seen the game uh, keep a chest open, but this lever wasn't still pulled, so maybe it doesn't save my progress when I die? Oh well. Uh, no. Whoa, how did I jump off that without taking damage? Was I technically still on the vine, quote-unquote? I should have killed that enemy for some health. Ow. Bombs? Okay, I don't like that. Progress with the treasure chest? Please don't be a mimic. Thank you. I really don't need that in my life right now. Mimics? No, you don't. I'm not, I'm not even bothering with you currently. Oh, jeez. I tried to get down fast enough. I could not. Okay, let's... No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's get me in here. What's a, uh... What's a tablet boy gotta do for a save point? There we go. Whew. At least I got some HP back there. Hmm. I don't like that enemy either. He releases the bees, which is pretty dangerous. I'm gonna avoid him for now, too. At least until I get an actual save point in this area. That's what I need. Because then I wouldn't be as scared to attempt anything. Okay, you're nothing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now now I can be ballsy if I want to and not worry about it. Because we, we won't get sent back to that previous area that we've seen a million times. Oh, hey. That was actually a secret. Hi. Yeah, so invisible walls... 100% a thing. A pig hat. How ridiculous do I look? Oh, I look so stupid. 
All right, well, <laughs> let's let's keep it on, I guess. We just got it. It's new. All right, I guess we should save. Yeah. So when you die, when you die in this, I guess it doesn't just at least save what you did. It might it might keep the uh, amount of coins that you had, but it doesn't seem like it saves any level progress. Will require more testing, I suppose. So I could get up there if I went into the previous room and went above, right? Yeah. So that's how we actually get up here. You make some weird noises. Of course, I probably would make some weird noises too if I was getting chopped up by a katana-wielding robot with a tablet face. Uh... Boom? Oh. I don't think I actually have the momentum to do that. I think what you have to do is swing with enough momentum to kind of hop around that. Well, it seems like to me. Okay, yeah, this was just the save room. So down. Hello. Hey, you're new. Do you have a map chip yet? No, please give me one. It can be tough to traverse the world without one. You're telling me, buddy. Let me tell you something. Go find my friend Dave. He's a resourceful guy. Can make chips like nobody else. I think I saw him heading west into the disconnected woods. Okay, heading there right now because I'm not playing any more of this game without uh, a map chip. So into the disconnected woods we go. Screw everything else. Hopefully he's not hidden like the um, uh, map guy in Hollow Knight is. That would be obnoxious. Are you a secret? No. You just look like one to throw me off. Oh, cool coins. Give me. Also, I haven't found another router yet. Which, it really feels like I should have found one by now. Wait, just this single area is the disconnected woods? Are you in here? Wait, was there just... Was there just coins in there and even not even a lot? I may have absorbed them basically as soon as they came out of the treasure chest. Oh well. Oh, is that why they're called the Disconnected Woods? Like, the areas are kind of random. So you don't know which one you're gonna go to. Okay. Well, that at least makes this area relatively easy to explore. Buddy, how are you standing on the level boundary? You're a wizard. Hmm. I'm gonna go through the one that actually gave me a coin. Take that path. No secrets? No secrets. Uh, please don't do that. I don't like these things. They intimidate me. It'd be better if I had a ranged attack of some sort. But because I have to wait for them to get right to me to actually attack them, they're super spooks. I'm just gonna bounce on your head. That's the safest thing to do right now. Huh. So this seems pretty linear so far, actually. Yeah, I'm back here to you. So, I wonder if there was a different way we could've went here? Yeah, we could've went... Wait, we went to the left last time, right? Yeah, and then that, that brought us here. This brings us back to the bird. I haven't... I don't think I've ran into a room with a single one of these before. We're getting a lot of money. So down again. And this time we go right. Okay. I think that's a duplicate room. Huh. Huh. Where is your friend Dave? I'm starting to get concerned because these rooms seem to be repeating themselves now and I'm not sure where the diverging path would be. Yeah, I mean, there's this. Yeah, I've went left too many times already. I need to get back to that room and try something different. Or maybe I just... Okay, no. Going back does actually take you to the room you were in previously. I thought maybe uh, there was an option to teleport from there as well. Okay, right. That just takes us here. Can I... Is there a path up there? Like a hidden path? No, I can't actually pull myself up there. 
Boom, boom. All right. Anything? No. All right, well, let me futz around for a second and I'll see if I can figure out what the deal is with these lost woods, as it were. Okay, I'm not even sure what I did, but it seems like we found the character that we were looking for. I was I was just once again running around. I, I may have just brute forced it. I was trying to look for new paths that I hadn't been before, so I was just trying every single option I could think of, so. This is definitely the character though, but this episode's already gone on a little bit long, it seems. Well, 30 minutes, but I have to cut a lot out. We can at least talk to him. Yo, I'm Dave. You're lost, aren't you? Don't worry, man, I got you. Let me install this map chip. Now check them out. May you never get lost again. Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. You're my savior. Wow, that's... You've already covered that much ground, huh? Oh, jeez. Now with the map, we can actually start playing the game. The true, uh, kunai begins here. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, even though it was a lot of me getting frustrated and running around because of the lack of map, which it seems like may have been intentional. I did just save, so... Uh, we don't have to worry about this, really. But yeah, if we look at our map now, we can actually see what would get us back to that area. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I'm gonna run back and hit that uh, save point up again now that we actually have the map chip. And I will see you next time.